Hello, everybody. You doing well today? I hope you are. I hope that you're not too stressed out here at the last moment before Christmas trying to figure out how all of it's going to work. Let me just tell you, relax. Just enjoy the moment the best that we can. I know there's a lot of challenge and a lot of difficulty going on for families, but you know what? Jesus is still the reason for the season. And I know families getting together is greatly important, and I hope that you're able to with your family. I know our plan is we will be gathering with our family and I trust all of you but if you can't listen I just want you to know Jesus is still near and he's still there and the joy of the season is still abounding just embrace it and grab hold of it yesterday I was speaking uh, to you a little bit about the, the story uh, the Christmas story about when the angel appeared to Mary. I'm not going to read that all again today, but you remember an angel appears to this young lady and the first thing that he says to her, he said, don't be afraid. He said, for you have found favor with God. But when she saw him, the word said she was troubled at his saying, at the manner, uh, I guess, of how he brought it of this kind of greeting. As somebody stepping in the door and all of a sudden said, hey, you found favor with God. God wants to use you. He wants to do something with you. May I tell you, God wants to use you and I in this season to bring life and to bring hope and to bring strength and joy in the midst of a dark world. I know it's hard to imagine why would God want to use me? Why would God choose me of all people? You know, I don't know of all the people that was on the planet there. Why did God choose this young lady that was was called Mary? Why would God bring her and of all the people he could have got? Why did he pick her? I really don't have an answer for that, but I believe there was something in her heart that God said, I can trust you, Mary. I believe God knew her heart that she had kept herself and that she could be trusted. That's just my opinion, my idea. But nonetheless, God chose her to reveal the Savior of the world. I believe God is still choosing us to reveal the Savior of the world. He's already come. He's already gone back to the Father, but He's left all of that light in us. He's left all of His joy and peace. He's given it to us. He's placed it inside of us so that you and I can go and reveal Jesus to the world. She left her, said, as she began to hear more of the story about what would begin to happen, she said, how can this be seen? I know not a man. Many times we question, Lord, how in the world? How can I do this? I, I, I see myself this way. I see the weaknesses I have. But just like Mary, God never intends for us to do it in our own strength. But he said, the Holy Spirit, the power of the highest is going to overshadow you. You know, friend, I've learned this about the Lord. He never calls me really to anything that he doesn't give me the ability and he doesn't give me the grace and he doesn't give me the strength and he gives me the power to carry it out. If I will just trust him, the Holy Spirit will overshadow us. And we will go forth and you will bring forth out of you. That's why the Bible gives us this idea. Out of you shall flow rivers of living water. That's the power of the Holy Spirit working through you. Here's the third thing that happened. He begins to explain a little bit further that your cousin Elizabeth has also Give, is, is also conceived in bringing forth a son. And he, she's in her sixth month. And she was one time called barren. It looked impossible. And he said, that, but with God, nothing is impossible. And Mary made one last statement. She said, be it unto me according to thy word. You know, sometimes that's all I can just, just simply do is just yield myself. Lord, I don't know how all this is going to unfold. I don't know how all this is going to work, but I know that you have said that you have favored me. I know you have chosen me to reveal your son to the world. I know I can't do it in my strength, but if you will come and empower me, I just need to yield myself. It's like, here I am, Lord, be it unto me according to to thy word. And the moment, I believe that's the moment, no doubt, when she conceived was that moment she said, yes, Lord, I will do it. Yes, I will do what you bid me to do. And at that moment, she began to give 
inside of her. Something began to transform and the power of the highest began to work. And Mary began to be the one that would bring forth the Son of God, the light to the world. I want to challenge you and I today in this season. Let's yield ourselves to God. Let's give ourselves to Him and say, Be it unto me according to Thy Word. And let God do something great through us.